Hey guys, Volvi here. So, LocoCycle. As one of the exclusive Xbox One launch games, I thought it was worth taking a look at and deciding who should buy LocoCycle. The game starts with a lengthy live-action introduction, starring a few faces I've seen before. General Major Sergei Kuznetsov. Hey, that's Lloyd Kaufman from Troma Entertainment. And with whom I was recently in a film called Dead Love. Anyway, enough of that. Well, it's obviously set up as a tongue-in-cheek, ridiculous excuse to have Freddy Rodriguez attached to the back of a sentient motorbike, trying to avoid being stopped by the company that created it. Now, I was expecting some kind of racing game based on... Nope! You'll be leaping about, performing melee combos with the bike's tires while throwing Pablo, played by Rodriguez, around the ever-moving playing field. You have guns, grenades and upgrades to improve your stats, all in an attempt to blow your mind with ridiculous set pieces and witty banter. And that's about it. The game's not going to break any moulds, but in the vein of most of Twisted Pixel games, it's a fun-themed, silly experience that will leave you... What the hell was that? Annoyingly, a lot of the comedy comes at the fact that the Spanish-speaking Pablo isn't understood by the cycle, Iris, and that means for those unfluent in Spanish, you need subtitles. I really enjoyed the fact that there is dialogue and comedy coming at you constantly, but the distraction of having to read what Pablo says takes a lot away from what you're watching. Equally, mostly irrelevant quick-time events pop up that stop you watching the crazy action going on. I guess that's one of the benefits of game DVR here. LocoCycle isn't a challenging game per se. More of a challenge to get the best combos and perform as well as possible, rather than just getting through the game. Twisted Pixel wants you to reach the end and see everything the game has to offer so that the variety of the game can be heaped upon you during your first playthrough. Any longevity here is from trying to get the top rankings in each level. Spike. Yes, that is Robert Patrick. Thrown amongst the hordes of Xbox Live Arcade games from the last generation, and this could have been lost, but even without particularly next-gen visuals, as a launch title here, it should perform quite well. So who should buy LocoCycle? Got an Xbox One? Played all the AAA titles out there? Looking for something a bit unusual and got some money in your Xbox wallet to shell out? Well, it's not an award-winning game by any stretch of the imagination, but it's bound to lower your jaw and break out a smile if you give it a chance. This is ridiculous.